Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Oakland A's and the Seattle Mariners. And that brings up Javi Baez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 2 2. Altogether, a fine afternoon for baseball. 66 degrees, the game time temperature. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Not exactly. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. Career head to head wow. meetings with Johnny Cueto. Just a one for nine. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. The pitch. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two that gone. And that brings up the, the third, third baseman, Rafael Devers. Devers. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the sign. In now, Austin Meadows. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2-2. Two -two. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And in the bat next, the big time RBI man, Charlie Blackman. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Hard sinker misses two and two. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. And here's the left handed hitting Michael Brantley. No one aboard for him and two gone here in the first. And strike three called as he says you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Now the A's designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Next up for the A's, Paul Goldschmidt, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Line drive base hit. To the plate now, David Peralta. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing on it. The second for one. Go to Santana, the double play, and that's how the side is retired. Next for Seattle, Carlos Santana. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. 
Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Digging in now for the Mariners, Gary Sanchez. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. And the count will be full. Fly ball out toward left center field. Schwarber will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Stepping up to the plate, Justin Turner. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Oh. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up, and that'll get down for a base hit. The designated hitter. Three. Standing in now, Reese Hoskins. Yes. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Aye. Two and two. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four seamer. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Stepping up now, Marcus Semyon. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Grounded back up the middle. There's Baez, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Late Kyle Schwarber, 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. The 1-1 home is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Here now the 2-2. Is swung on and missed, he got him. One gone for the A's here in the third. And that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. The one-two. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So stepping in, Stephen Vogt. Stephen Vogt. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. A bouncer up the middle. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Bottom of the third now, and standing in is the switch hitting second baseman, Jonathan Villar. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The next 3 2. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Now batting. So coming to the plate, Austin Meadows hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like you And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Hit down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. To third. Devers gloves it. Throw on to first in time, one away. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. Charlie. 
hit back up the middle. Baez has it, and there are two away now. Here's Michael Brantley. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, and a borderline call, Matty. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this A.B., see how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. He lays off, and that's outside, ball four. They're at the corners now here with two away. So now Carlos Santana, and they're runners at the corners now. The 1-1. Hit out towards second. Lestella fields it cleanly. He'll go to Baez at second for the force, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the fourth, and with it comes Javi Baez to the plate. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on to get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Meadows has it, and there's one away. So striding forward now, Mike Trout. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Throw over to first. A dive, but he's back. Into the box now. Rafael Devers. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Now the 2 1 pitch. And that fastball away there almost works like another pitch out. I think they're definitely worried about him over there. And a dive, but he's back in there. Three one takes a strike for a full count now three and two. Belted high and deep into right center. Blackman going back, still going back, and they take the lead. It's gone. In now, Jordan Alvarez. Strike two called, and it's even at two. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Three balls and two strikes, a full count to the ace DH. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. So he sets him down yeah, swinging. Jordan Alvarez is sent packing for the second out of the inning. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Two balls and two strikes now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Hit hard on the ground to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Gary Sanchez becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. And he popped him up. Lastella calls for it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. So two are gone here in the M's half of the fourth. And that will bring up Reese Hoskins. 3-2 pitch. 
No runs just one hit and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one two three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up next a Berkeley area native Marcus Simeon. Outside two and one. And he can't catch the corner here so he's behind three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And the payoff pitch. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. And he will apply the tag himself, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, David Peralta. Swung on and missed that strike two. Soft liner to the right side. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. How about it? Striding in for Oakland, Kyle Schwarber looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now that Standing in, Tommy LaStella. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And it's fouled away. The 2 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Jonathan Villar. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The one-two. Lays off two and two now. Hold high in the air out to right field. Peralta is there and he makes the catch for the out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Austin Meadows. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. A bouncer to the left side. Devers has it. Throw on to first will get him. Score it 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, the big-time RBI man, Charlie Blackman. That's lifted the other way out to left. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The back. The left field. Michael. Brantley. At the plate, Michael Brantley. He pulls this one into right. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. To second now, but he's safe as they also push across his score to make it a one-run game. Jesus Lozardo, a lefty standing six-foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. Into the box, Carlos Santana. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. 
Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. High in the air out to center field. Trout has a read on it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And now it will be the catcher, Stephen Vogt. Now here's the pitch. Popped him up. Sanchez over to his right one down ready for another yeah, shot man. now Javier Baez 0 for 2 from him so far in this one trying to send him packing for the second time got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone here's the center fielder Mike Trout Mike Trout 1-1 one, one. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. And Trout has himself a base hit. The throw into second, the tag, and they'll yes, get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the set. Julio Tehran takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. On to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next, the dangerous power threat, Reese Hoskins. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. A swing by Hoskins, and this is driven to deep left. Gone! So now to the plate, Marcus Simeon comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Ready once again, Jonathan Villar. He flew out in his last at-bat. Jonathan Villar. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Well, you don't see this very often, Matty V, a two-strike straight changeup. But this guy changeup is one of the best in the league. We'll see if he tries that different approach this time, and maybe if he gets to two strikes, try to use the fastball a little bit more than that straight changeup. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Go-ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Digging in, David Peralta 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Ready with the payoff pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Simeon's got it. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Now 
last half of the seventh here and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. The one one. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. The one two. Grounded to the right. There is La Stella, and the throw to first is in time. One gun. One away for Seattle now in inning number seven. And that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. A payoff pitch one more time. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Michael Brantley, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Hit out toward second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Adrian Morejon has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 15. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Gone to lead off the inning. At the plate now, Tommy LaStella. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Brantley is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So digging in now, Stephen Vogt. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Vogt. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Three runs, five hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Fouled off. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Throw on to first to get him. Score it 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate, Javier Baez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Archie Bradley is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring in one of the best on-base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Stepping into the box, Gary Sanchez. It was a walk in his last trip. The one two is taken for ball two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? 
Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Stepping in, Justin Turner. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Change up. Good pitch there. One and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Man, the Mariners have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game long. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking up around the letters. Nate Valdi answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Reese Hoskins will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. 1 1. It's taken for strike two. Evaldi certainly comes at you with the big fastball, but the only knock on it is the apparent lack of control he has over that pitch. Might not always know where it's going, and that can make things a little dicey for pitching coaches. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, what a stop on the slide! to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Mike Trout. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, fellas, not sure if he got the go-ahead from his base coach or not. Can't believe he did, but it looked like he was running in mud right there. The three and one pitch. Grounded back up the middle, and this will make its way into center field for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. Now that the third base, Rafael. Into the box now, Rafael Devers. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. The designated hitter. Striding forward now is the D.H. Jordan Alvarez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Ground ball right side. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. Although there are a couple of bases open and we'll see if they think about working around him. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Full count now, three and two. Ready with the payoff pitch. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. Corey Knable is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Number 47. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt it's full now three and two it's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at right there he basically spiked that one right into the dirt and now he has to find the zone on a three two pitch hit to short throw on to first and one shortstop grounds out to the other one away Stepping into the box, Jonathan Villar, over two with a walk for him so far. The 2-2 is taken, but called strike three as he might have gotten a little extra off the plate that time. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Austin Meadows, struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0-4 ball game right here. 
And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Standing in now, Charlie Blackman. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Listella has it. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Striding in, David Peralta. He was a ground out victim last time up. 1 1. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw to first gets him. One out here to lead off the 10th. Miguel Cabrera will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. One out, nobody on. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And a swing and a miss. So a perfect start to the tenth here. Two up and two down. The batter number ten. Here's Tommy Lastella now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. And he strikes him out here for route number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here. And Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. Here's Carlos Santana now. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready with the one and one. Bases are empty. One man out. but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Driven to deep right field. Peralta going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Riding in once again, Gary Sanchez. Gary. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. All even now, two and two. Two out, nobody on. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Eleventh inning set to get underway, and next to hit is the catcher, Stephen Vogt. Well, and that misses two and one. That's and he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. The one and one pitch. A bouncer up the middle. 
He's got it to second for one. On to first to complete the double play. Digging in and looking for more. Mike Trout. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. From the windup, the 1-1. One -one. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. And he fouls this one off. Three and two to the A's center fielder. Rafael Devers would be next. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. Hansel Robles, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. In now, Rafael Devers. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Count still full, three and two. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. High chopper towards first. Gloved by Santana. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the 11th. And set to go is the third baseman, Justin Turner. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Lestella will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Now back. In now the Mariners DH. Reese Hoskins. Three. And he'll be trying to replicate oh, that yeah. home run swing that he took back in inning number six. One and one, here it is. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in time at first for out number two. Ready now, Marcus Semyon. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. Baez waits on it, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win. And any win is good, especially on the road. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. Corey Knable gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Athletics. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Mariners, three runs, five hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 40 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.